Hi everyone, it's Emma the Body Love Coach here at Body Love HQ and I just wanted to have a little chat about something that happened for me this morning and how I use the Body Love Method almost on a daily basis to help me make decisions that are loving to myself. So um, I'm really interested in trying um, the inter intermittent fasting lifestyle, not so much for a diet because I'm not really into diets and I am wondering if I'm still a little bit caught up in diet culture because that's easy to happen but mainly because I'm finding preparing meals and eating all the you know eating three meals a day and all that sort of stuff actually quite uh, time consuming and frustrating I'm not really into it at the moment um, and so then I'm often finding myself eating crap instead of eating real food because I just can't be bothered um, cooking because I've just sort of got myself quite busy at the moment. Um, so I want to try this lifestyle because I've read a lot about how good it is for you in terms of energy and all that sort of stuff and also it means in some ways that you don't need to prepare as many meals. So I heard about a way of doing this on Friday, bought the book, started reading the book yesterday. I haven't even finished reading the book and I'm like right I'm going to start tomorrow, meaning today. So I woke up this morning thinking, yep, I'm going to have to start today and feeling really kind of stressed about it um, and really anxious about it. And I was thinking, I've got a busy day today. I start um, my first appointments at 8.30 and I'm pretty much back to back with meetings or working all day until I finish at about 6.30. Whew, and it just felt like a lot to think about as well. So I went straight back to my body love method. And so the first thing I thought about was my intention around whether or not I wanted to do this and start today. And I really thought about the fact that today is not a good day. So um, I still hadn't set my intention, but I was starting to think about it. Then I moved into the decluttering phase. And that's just to help clear the energy, clear you know, the space and just give you more brain space to make good decisions. So all I did was put some washing in the washing machine, but that was just, you know, something that was taking up space in my room and I went and put it away in the washing machine. And then I started to forgive myself and I thought, you know, if one of my clients was suggesting she was going to do this today with such a busy day, what would I say to her? I'd say, you're doing too much, you're pushing yourself too hard. So I decided to forgive myself about not starting this new lifestyle today. Um, so I forgive you, I'm sorry, I thank you, I love you. And I just thought those words over and over a few times just to really let go of the idea that I had to do it because I don't, it's my own decision. And then the fourth um, element of the body love method is the positive anchor. And so what I did is I went out for my daily morning walk with my pooch and I listened, I'm listening at the moment to uh, Michelle Obama's new book on audiobook, which is also really positive and inspiring and that's just helped me feel really positive about my day. So instead of waking up feeling stressed about something that I was going to do that wasn't going to make me feel good, I've ended the morning, or so far this morning, feeling really positive and on a high. So I just thought I'd share that with you to just show you how the Body Love Method can be used in your daily practice to help you make decisions that are really loving to yourself. So I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy Tuesday, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.